Good morning, folks. Um, it's it. What is today? Shoot, I can't even tell what day it is. It's like the uh, the Thursday before Mother's Day. So what's today to say? <laughs> sixth of May. Gosh, my son's birthday was two days ago, and I can't remember. It's the sixth today. Um, two thousand and twenty-one, and we're looking at. Uh, you know, this is probably a video long coming, right? This is a, a a game that I'll be honest with you that I loved years ago as a kid and um, loved this game. And I haven't played this in a very long time. It was the one of the first games. It wasn't my first solitaire game. That's like, you know, B-17, Queen of the Skies. And then I think um, even Ambush, I think, was before this. But this one probably made such an impression on me to where after I played this, I didn't even, I, I, I thought, well, man, I, maybe I don't even, you know, maybe I can just play solitaire and be just as good as, you know, multiple player, two player or multiple player games. Now, that's not true, but the game made a big impression on me and made me feel like solitaire was a decent way to play, uh, to actually play, right? And that is Mosby's Raiders from Victory Games, and it was... Designed by Eric Lee Smith. Um, uh, this this was a new game when I had it. It's beat up now. Um, it's been beat up. Man, it's been with me a long time. But the game... Well, I can read the blurb on the back. Mosby's Raider, Raiders puts you in, in command of the Partisan Rangers. Your mission is to infiltrate enemy lines... To disrupt the Union war effort, as you succeed as you succeed in your operation, your notoriety grows, and the Union devotes additional troops to stopping you. You select the Union targets to your to your raids and decide what actions Mosby's raiders will perform. You may be deep inside Union lines, hopefully not, when the Union army is alerted by your activities and begins to pursue your band. As more Union troops join in the chase, you must either try to escape or stop to take the Union, to union units in combat. Events beyond your control may lead to Union sweeps that diminish your Confederate support, or you may find yourself gaining unexpected reinforcements. All right. So, yeah, that, 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 that's pretty much it. So, Mosby's Raiders, you know, obviously about... Colonel John S. Mosby, who was himself. Oh, here's some of the uh, the, the, the counters. Okay, um, typical counters of uh, the time, mid '80s there. But they're okay. There's your railroad. You bust up a railroad. That was some cool stuff. But um, one thing I thought was cool was that there's a stand up, a standee here, which represents. Right there he is. Mosby's and where, where's the standee? Is it even in here? Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the stand. You stand and you put it and you put it on the stand so you know where Mosby is. And I thought that was kind of cool for the day. It kind of stood out. Uh, um, you know, here's when you bust up a railroad track, it's going to look like that. Which you're going to do a lot of stuff like that. This is not like big battles, right? But you are um, you're you're doing you know is is guerrilla or as we say it guerrilla op operations right little war and um, these cars ah, the cars had so much these are the flavor cars I think had so much well we'll look at them in a minute they had they had really good things to it here's victory games stuff here oh gosh I haven't even opened this in years. Um, games and parts price list. It's always cool to look through these things. I'm gonna look at this later. I think my, you know, micro computer games are even doing that. Victory Games did um, some good stuff from um, Avalon Hill. Ah, Powers and Peril. Powers and Perils. Oh man, twenty-four dollars back then. <laughs> Probably won't find it for that now. That was a. Uh, a decent little role-playing game. Mm. James Bond stuff. I like that stuff too. All right, man. 
Enough of that. We'll go back to Mosby's Raiders. All right, so rule book. Let's look at the rules real fast. Table of contents. It's one of these weird things. You think you're never going to forget rules to a game like this because it was simple. It's not hard whatsoever, but I forgot a lot of it. Uh, but I remember some things that I used to try to do in there that you can do, you know, some ahistorical stuff I would try to do. Um, I always like, you know, games about Confederate Raiders are not, there's not just legions of them because they are, it is a hard game to make. Um, and Johnny S. Mosby, Colonel Mosby, was kindly of a, um, an odd guy, right? He, um, after the war, he was uh, a Republican and um, didn't go to a lot of these Confederate reunions they used to have, um, being actually a lot of politically opposed to a lot of the stuff that the old neo-Confederates used to do, right? And... Um, so he was kind of an odd guy. Another oddity about him, not odd, but another thing about him is uh, George Patton knew him when he was a when he was a young boy. He used to visit the Patton Ranch out there in uh, California, wasn't it? So General Patton, you know, uh, knew of him when he was a child, which is very interesting, right? Uh, how much that influenced his thoughts on warfare? Probably very little, but it probably did make a huge impression on him as a child. So, the sequence of play, you get the preparation sequence, place Union, un, union units in a container, um, determine Union awareness, that was a good one, place Mosby's in Mosby's Confederacy, I do believe it's kind of a map of the Shenandoah Valley mostly, place Mosby in Mosby's Confederacy, move Union units outside Union lines, recruit Mosby's Raiders, that's a big part of this game, recruiting and doing things daring enough to want people to recruit, right? Because that was the whole idea of a lot of these Raiders, whether it was uh, John Singleton Mosby or whether it was like uh, John Hump Morgan in Kentucky or uh, Captain uh, Quantrell up in Missouri uh, or you know, after Quantrell's death, uh, Bloody Bill Anderson and those guys. Um, or even like uh, Nathan Bedford Forrest uh, in Tennessee and, and in, Kentucky, in parts of Kentucky as well. Um, Raiders was it was kind of an odd thing because people joined because they were the they were kind of notorious and they were notorious. I mean, you talk about some of them, man. Um, Quantrell out there in Missouri and over in Kansas, man. I mean, you talk about the stuff that uh, that, that he did. I mean, um, just really, really. Uh, bad stuff to be honest with you and and later even some of those same guys was in that what was the old confederate secret service which was operating out of canada which we don't talk a lot about um because we don't know a lot about it but we know there was just some very odd operations going on um what was it dr luke blackburn with some um trying some biological warfare Trying to spread, was it? Was it malaria? Was it? Maybe it was. Maybe it was yellow fever. I forgot. Trying to send clothes to Abraham Lincoln, President Abraham Lincoln, um, that, that contaminated. Um, robbing banks up from Canada and moving back into Canada to get away from uh, uh, um, Union officials, right? And a lot of odd things. A lot of those guys had, had served in Raider units, and so. Um, they were not so much of this um, <laughs> southern gentleman type of a thing. They 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 just weren't in a lot of ways. Uh, but as far as what people thought of in their mind is typified the daring and the and the dashing and the gallantry. They thought it would be these ra they, these raiders, and so you had to do gallant and dashing things. Pick random up pick. After recruit Mosby's Raiders, pick action cards, random event cards. That was always cool. And then Mosby's operations, right? Then you go to rounds. Rounds is much like, if I remember right, much like um, ambush, where you go to rounds and you're going in a fighting sequence. Because a lot of times, 
what you're trying to do, you go to rounds, is, is not fight. Get away. Huh? You want to do an action and get away. And you've got Yankee Calvary cat uh, chasing you. They catch up to you. You know, watch out. Right? Um, so the, the rounds would be determine initiative. All right? Check for union activation. All right? Perform actions. And, um, and then the end of turn sequence. So... Yeah, um, I'm talking a little too much. I just play this game so much. I always enjoy it. A good commentary on here is by Eric Lee Smith, who does who's done really good things on um, other games on the war uh, between the states. On uh, his P Ridge game was a good game. I believe he did P Ridge, right? I think so for for SPI. All right, um, <laughs> look at that. I'm not even. I haven't used that. I just I don't know. Why is even in there? I didn't wasn't aware that it wasn't. Here, let's look at this map. The map was always this colorful map, right? Um, you don't have to know very much about John Mosby to appreciate this game, but I, I learned about it just because I like this game so much, right? That was back in the day. And uh, here's the map. It's point to point, right? And I'll tell you what I what I used to do. If I can show you on here, colorful thing and. Not, not, not this map actually, but I'll show you what I used to do. And it was, and why did I used to do it? Because I just did. If you want to look at here, that is white round Washington D.C. Right, and those are uh, heavily fortified places. All right, those those blue hexes, which is not a hex, but if you see those hexes, they're heavily fortified. And getting around there is just bring death. And so I always had like this weird thought of what if Mosby's Raiders, because the farther you go up here, yeah, you, 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 some of those blue lines, you make Union lines, and you, your the, Mosby's Confederacy keeps shrinking as the game wears on, as it should. But I always used to want to go up here and like, what would happen if you did something crazily ahistorical and made a march on Washington or something? It's not going to work out good for you. <laughs> but it's um, just always that kind of stuff I used to like. Um, yeah, point to point. I remember, if I remember correctly, the setup is different each time. I think you draw for a setup. The setup's different each time. Um, the Potomac, right? And so sometimes you're 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 trying to gain recruits. So you're doing these daring things. You know, make a pin prick. Um, Burn a bridge. You can burn a bridge. You can break up railroads. You can do this. And the cool part about it was, like I said, it's not really it, it's, uh, guerrilla warfare, especially during the Civil War. is kind of different. It's kind of hard to to get to. <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of hard to um, get your mind around. But I really thought this done it right because you would just disband, as guerrillas would do. They would disband, right? And so when they would disband. Um, you know, they'd go home and whatnot. And so it's hard to find. Uh, that's why, you know, so much of the Union time was spent on um, partially on civilian populations. It was looking for guerrillas and people doing just terrible things. Uh, yeah. So the way they saw it, terrible things, and I know that civilian populations, this didn't help out Union hearts and minds in confederate controlled places but um that that's the way they looked at it i'm sure so you got a lot of your charts here combat procedure here all that's cool maps pretty everything's good there um point to point though which is interesting but i think a lot of solitaire games after this would follow this point to point type thing uh let's look at some of these cars these were the Mosby escape. These were random events, no? Or the yellow random events? There was some of them that were really cool. Like and some of them historical. A lot of them were historical, right? No, this is gate initiative. This is no, no, no. This ain't what I'm looking for. A lot of them, I don't think. A lot of them were. Um, some of them was, you know, Mosby. Maybe they are. Maybe they. Is that one say? Death rumor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Death rumor, 
Strength is good. Union Initiative. Mosby escapes. Uh, Mosby was escaping a lot, by the way. Um, that's why they he got called the Grey Ghost, if you will. Mosby's heroics. Yeah, two to combat die roll. Right. Gain initiative. There was some of them that would be like, um, it's me, Pedro, me dog. My little dog, my little chihuahua. It would be some of these that would be like, uh, I need to change these rubber bands. You know, if you've ever, I'm surprised they haven't. Gelatinized, right? If that's what you call it. Um, but some of them are like, you know, one of them, the cars is like a place like, yeah, this is setting up your union stuff. A lot of this, a lot of this is going to, uh, one of the cars is like um, Mosby attends a wedding, which was historical, right, uh, at the time. So a, lot of, so a lot of the stuff that was in here was Mr. Eric Lee Smith did his work for it. And, and I think sometimes it gets a bad name. It's a good game. Um, I played this a lot, you know, years ago. And I haven't played it recently. And I don't plan to play it recently because I've got Patton's Best set up. I'm playing it right now. So, uh, but... I just got to thinking about it. I think I haven't done a video on um, Mosby's Raiders, which was, believe it or not, this game right here. Even though it don't get the pub that some other games get, uh, solitaire games get, this game here really opened me up to the idea of playing solitaire. And still to this day, I love solitaire, right? Um uh, you know, when I can't play with somebody else, there's always solitary. Solitary. So there's never an excuse. So that's it. Um, all right, folks. Talk to you soon. Be good. I've talked too long. Y'all be careful out there. Bye-bye.